Hello, this is Erin, and I have not made a video in a long time, but what we are going to talk about today is what to do when you have a decimal in your multiplication. So fear not, because we are going to break this down in the simplest way, and we're going to call it forget about it, okay? This is just called forget about it. So let's write that down. Forget about it. I can't even do that very well. Yeah, not so gangster. Anyway, um, so let's just say you are multiplying 32 times 45, and you already have the method you're going to use. So you're either going to use break apart, you might use a generic rectangle, you might just use the algorithm, but you're totally comfortable with this. There is nothing different between multiplying with 32 times 45, and let's say um, 32 hundredths times 4.5. So in this method, the forget about it, you actually just treat this problem as if it had no decimals, and then you put them in later. So watch this. This is where it gets pretty cool. Okay, so actually today I want to use the generic rectangle because um, that will help illustrate our point more than anything else. So let's set that up. The generic rectangle, and this is going to look so weird and yet it is so awesome for showing what's happening when we're multiplying the decimals with the forget about it. Okay, and you have to do that too. Forget about it. Anyway. 32 hundredths, we are going to break that into the 3 tenths part and the 2 hundredths part. Isn't that interesting? Okay, but those two together, if you understand place value, you set that to see 32 hundredths. And then 4 and 5 tenths is equal 4 and, and 5 tenths. Now what happens in this rectangle is this is a really interesting way to look at these numbers and think about, um, well, the algebraic property of um, distributive property, the distributive property, really. So in the first box here, in the first square here, we are actually going to do 4 times 3 tenths. But you forget about it. Forget about the decimal. That's 4 times 3, which is 12. And then you think about the decimal. Well, there's only one number behind a decimal point, so the decimal point moves in one number. Because if you have watched the Algebra Turnaround course, which I hope you have, you know that there is a sneaky decimal at the end of every number. The decimal sits behind the number. If you don't see it in the number, it's at the end of the number. So 1.2. Now for the next part, um, the only non-zero number here is 2. So I'm going to do 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. And then I have to move my decimal 1, 2 times to make up for those 1, 2 numbers in decimal spots. So that's 0 .08 or 8 hundredths. Now here I have 5, 3, because I just forget about my decimals. And then I see there's one number behind the decimal in point and one number behind the decimal in point five, that's two numbers, so one, two. I move it there. Okay, so point one five. Now I do two times five, and here's where it gets a little bit cool. Two times five is ten. Now I have one, two, and maybe I can change the color. Let me see if I'm smart enough to actually like change the color. No, not really today. Okay, never mind. Um no, not at all. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, um, so anyway, 2 times 5 is 10, and there's 1, 2, 3 numbers behind decimal points to account for. So, starting at the back of the 10, you go 1, 2, 3, and put that extra 0 in, and now you have 0 0.10. Now remember, you don't actually need that number. So, adding these up, I have 1.2. 0 0.08, 0 0.15, and 0. Point, whoops, 0, 0. 0.010. I could put the 0 there, but I don't really need to. If I do that, um, it's just going to end up being 0, which is unnecessary, so I'm not even going to write it. And then 8 plus 5 plus 4, 8 plus 5 is 13 plus 1 is 14, carry a 1. And 2, 3 plus 1 more is 4. 
all the decimal points were lined up so nicely for our addition, remember snowman buttons, and one. Now, that might seem totally nuts to you that this is equal to 1.44. Hey, 1.44, but it is. Try it on a calculator if you want. That is absolutely the answer. So that is what you do with forget about it. You just deal with the numbers and then worry about the decimals after you're done. See you on the next one.